Welcome back. In this step, we would start with defining our first JPA entity. We would want to make this person class a entity, something which maps this bean or this class to a table. In a pom.xml, we already add in starter data JPA. So because of that, you get a JPA API. This JPA API, if you look at it, defines a lot of different annotations. One of the an annotation which is present in here is entity. This is one of the annotations which we'll be making use of in this specific step. The other annotations which are also defined in here are things like column. You have an annotation called table and a lot of such annotations. So this is the API and who implements this API? Who implements the JPA API? the Hibernate core. Hibernate is the implementation of that API. So all the code that you would have in here, there would be a lot of code. It will give functionality to whatever is defined in the APIs. So let's get started with defining our entity. How do I define an entity? The easiest way is to just say at entity. At entity, control, spacebar, Java X persistence. So this now maps. One of the things is JPA provides defaults. This person maps to a table called person. So even though there is an annotation called table and you can put again person in here as the name of the table. So you can say name is equal to person to say this is a table that it maps to, but I don't really need to do because the table name matches with the name of the class. Other things which you can define in here are column mappings as well. So you can put a annotation saying column, the name of the column, you can put it in here. So I'll import it in control one, import control column. And you can say name is equal to name. Over here, the names match. So I don't really need a column as well. The only thing that I would need to define on this specific thing is something called at ID. It indicates that this is a primary key. One of the things I would want to do is I would want Hibernate to take control of generating the ID for me. I don't want to manually set the ID. Whenever I need insert a new row, I would want Hibernate to be able to create the ID for me. How can I do that? I can do that by adding something called generated value. I would import generated value annotation in. This would make sure that based on the database, appropriate mechanism is used to populate the ID. Typically, what Hibernate does is it creates a sequence in the database and it uses this sequence to populate the value for this specific ID. So now we have defined an entity called person. On the ID column, we have made it a primary key by putting an ID and we said, Hibernate, you generate the whole thing for us. The other important thing that you need to always remember is you need to have a constructor. So you need to have a no argument constructor. We have another constructor with ID, name, location, and birth date. But with Hibernate, I don't want to create the ID. So I'll create another constructor where I don't pass the ID at all. So what we are doing is creating a constructor with just three arguments. This would allow us to create a person and we'll allow Hibernate to assign a value to that. That's it. That's all you would need to define an entity with Hibernate. In the next step, let's see how to create a repository to maintain this entity. Until then, bye-bye.